Hey guys, so I just got back from another double feature, and boy oh boy was it a long, it felt like a long ass night. Uh, even though both movies I went and saw were about only an hour and 40 minutes, and man, I felt, I felt like I was at the movie theaters for days. Uh, it should be kind of a sign of what I thought about both movies, but yeah, somewhat. But uh, the first movie I went and saw was uh, The Photograph. A new drama that starred uh, Keith St Steinfeld. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. The guy from uh, Sorry to Bother You. Uh, who Again, I fucking love that movie. If you've never seen that movie, go fucking watch it right now. That's one of the most insane movies I've seen in a long damn time. Uh, and that girl that I always just recognize, I recognize from that fucking uh, Lovebirds trailer that I've got a million times. Uh, what was her name? Uh, fuck. Isa Rose? Um, I've never really seen her. Isa Ray. Sorry, I apologize. Isa Ray. Uh, I've never seen her in anything. It's like one of those actresses. I, like, I think I recognize her, but I don't. It's like it's an up and coming actress that's kind of not made a big name for herself. But, um, yeah, this is a movie that I got a trailer for a lot. <laughs> a lot. It's one of those movies. I had a trailer for this movie quite a lot. Um, to the point, again, it's like, when the fuck is this movie coming out? Because I'm tired of seeing this trailer. But it's one of those, eh, it doesn't look bad. It didn't look like anything special. It just looked like your typical drama, romantic drama that comes out around this time of year around valentine's day which it did come out on valentine's day which is perfect uh and like i said it looked like nothing really special but i'd seen it was getting good reviews uh, i'd been getting decent reviews and like i said i liked like you steinfeld and uh uh what was that one comedian's name it's in this movie god damn it. i had to look it up sorry i have to look this shit up uh thanks Google, you're not helping. Little Ray, uh, little Ray, Ray Howard, Howry, or whatever the hell you want to say. I recognized him. Uh, it was like a lot of people I didn't recognize, but like other, those were the two I recognized. I'm like, I like both those guys, so you know, whatever. Um, and I'll say this: this movie is really well made. It is really well acted. It's you know, I can't really say anything bad about it. It's nothing really bad about this movie but I could not get into this movie one fucking bit this is a movie that I will easily forget within a week's time and that's one some of the kind of worst kinds of movies they're just <laughs> mediocre they're just kind of forgettable and like I said this movie isn't bad I think, there, I think there's always those kinds of movies that come out every year where they're like, this movie is good and it's really well acted and everything about it's not is really good, but I just can't get into it. I this, this is one of those movies I just couldn't get into it. I know a lot of people would be disappointed, but I couldn't. I didn't. I didn't love this movie as much as I would want to. I uh, like I said, the acting is really well, really well done. Uh, the two leads, Lakeith Steinfeld and uh, Isa Ray, both are really good. They're really fucking good in this movie. Um, their chemistry is really good, even though it is kind of funny that they pretty much just jumpstart this relationship right from the fucking beginning, honestly. Uh, they pretty much meet, and then they're making out and going on a first date and having sex within, like, a few scenes of, like, just having met each other. It's like, well, that seems pretty fucking quick. But, whatever. Like, uh, it basically starts at, like, um, like, you Steinfeld is, uh, a reporter that is reporting, I think, it isn't really clear what the hell he was reporting on at first off. It was kind of reporting on this uh, older black gentleman who was a fisherman who reporting about what how the BP oil spill and the Hurricane Katrina has affected his job. And then he sees a photo of a woman and he says, oh, that's this famous photographer that I used to date well we don't you know we don't talk anymore we, or, she left me or yada 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 and then he looks this girl up because he's impressed by her pictures and this woman up and he finds out she's dead and meets his daughter and that's how it all starts 
Uh, I like I said, I don't even know what the hell he was. Was he writing? Because then he starts writing this story about uh, I think about the woman and her daughter, which is like okay. Uh, so what the hell was this? What was his story <laughs> that he was writing? I still don't get that. Um, but yeah, like they are both really good in this movie. They're really really good in this movie. Uh, the guy who played uh, the ex. Boyfriend was really good. Uh, an older gentleman, uh, it, like it, like as I expected from the, and what I saw from the trailers, it cuts back and forth between modern day and the story of her mom when she met this this guy and fell in love, and then she decides to leave New Orleans. And what makes her decide to leave New Orleans to go to New York and pursue her passion for photography? And in the meantime, she has a kid, and he ends up getting married, and yeah, 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 I'm kind of getting the spoilers now, but I, well, also, this movie is, while that story is going on, you're seeing what is going on with her daughter and how it parallels, it's one of those stories, it's like, what's going on in the past and what's going on in the present is paralleling each other, and it's, you know, you can see a hundred, like I said, I think my biggest problem with this movie is like, you can see where everything, you can see everywhere this movie's going. Like, there's no surprises. There's, like, there's a twist of who, who this man is that, that what his, the, the ex-boyfriend really has, what meaning he has to the overall story uh, that I saw coming a mile away. I mean, it's, pretty much fucking obvious. Uh, even I think I guessed it in the trailers. Um, it's, yeah, like I said, it's not, it's a movie that's not really fucking that memorable, and it's, like I said, it's pretty predictable. You know where it's going. You've seen a million movies like this before. I don't know if it was just because I was tired, and I just couldn't get into it. I don't know. Maybe if I see it again, maybe I'll you know, have a different opinion, but I... There's way better movies out here, out right now, uh, than this. Hell, like I said, one of my favorite movies so far this year was The Gentleman. I recommend that. Birds of Prey was alright. Uh, Bad Boys, like, it's not many movies to choose from, but there are better movies out there than this, I thought. I'm not saying this movie's bad. It's just forgettable, I guess, is the best way to put it. So, I guess... Don't, I wouldn't spend money to see it in a theater. Just maybe a rental. Um, <coughs> or if it pops up on Netflix. That's the best way I could probably... How I'd recommend this movie. Like I said, it's not, it, this is a very short review because there ain't much to talk about. So, I mean, hell. Like I said, it's, not, it's a movie like I really have not much material to go with. Um, trailers. I only got one new trailer. And that was the new trailer for Mulan. Um... Again, I'm all over. I'm over the fucking Disney remakes. I cannot. I, I I'm done with them. <laughs> I am done with them, and I don't know. I'm Mulan. Like I said before, is not a movie I hold in high regard, and I didn't grow up on. So I don't know how this will go. Um, it looks faithful to the original source material from what I remember, but. I don't know. Um, yeah, that's as far as trailers go. I have one more review to do. Until then, I will talk to you guys later.